Here are three things that I did with my business in 2022 to lower my taxable income. In 2021, I was tax naive and I ended up having a tax burden of $115,000 to the federal government, even though I moved to Florida, which was a first step at lowering my taxable income, but I made a lot of mistakes. So I vowed to never have that happen again. And I went ahead and read a very pivotal book that changed my whole outlook on taxes, Tax-Free Wealth by Tom Wheelwright. He is Robert Kiyosaki's accountant and I'm not an affiliate for for his book and honestly changed my life and taught me all the things I'm about to discuss with you. And I, I will also be honest in that my business manager is a CPA and she has also provided me with advice on this stuff. Disclaimer, obviously I am not an accountant. So this is not tax advice. This is just me describing to you what I've done in the last year and a half to lower my taxable income. All of this is legal, by the way. Before we dive into it, if you guys love my videos, please like and subscribe. I also have written a book Freelancer Way to Freedom that goes over all of this. It actually covers taxes as well as health insurance and other things related to freelancing. So if that's you or if you're thinking about freelancing, my book will absolutely help you. So the first thing I changed about my business heading into 2022 is I changed the kind of business it's registered as. So before 2022, my business was a single member LLC. For 2022, we changed it to an S Corp. That's what it currently is. So for my S Corp, there are two employees registered on it now. Myself, because I pay myself a salary from the business bank account, and my best friend, who is also my business manager. That is it. The rest of my business is still me just hiring other independent contractors, other freelancers, graphic designers, people that I need on a per project basis as it was. But there's now two employees assigned to my business. If you want, I can do a video where I go in depth explaining why that is registering with an S Corp. But if you have an accountant and I highly recommend recommend you get one if you're making more than $30,000 per year with an internet side hustle. Ask your accountant about registering an S Corp and they'll be able to explain all of the details with you because again, I am not an accountant, so I have to be careful here. So the next two things that I'm doing to lower my taxable income are all things that I learned in this book. So how this book goes, Tax-Free Wealth, is he breaks down that the US tax code is essentially written to incentivize you to do two things. And these are two things that the government would have had to do anyway. So by encouraging regular civilians, private citizens, to go ahead and do these two things, you are saving the government time and money, which means they're happy to reward you with some tax breaks. Those two things are developing real estate, i.e. creating housing, and creating jobs. So if you think about it, the government's main two jobs, haha, honestly, are creating jobs, managing the economy, stepping in if something crazy is happening in the market, not that they do a good job of that, but they think they do. And the second thing is to provide some type of infrastructure, some type of real estate development, buildings, coding, that kind of thing. So that's really the two main jobs of the government. So if you will go ahead and do those things for them, they will reward you like the good little boy and girl that you are. So after reading this book, I was like, I am going to go do those two things. So the second thing that I have done to lower my taxable income is I have developed real estate. Meaning, starting in 2021, I have so far today purchased three properties. I have sold one. One of them was in a condo in Miami. I still own another condo in Miami. My sister is my tenant. And I bought a home here in Southwest Florida, my homesteaded property, where I previously lived before Hurricane Ian kicked it hard. Kicked it hard and flooded it. By investing in real estate and renting out your real estate to tenants, lots of tax breaks come with that, lots of depreciation you can claim. Homesteading a property that you own or sitting on it, I think for two years, helps you with property taxes. Uh, guys, I am not an accountant, so I am not going to go ahead and try and claim that I know everything there is about the tax breaks that come with it, but I can tell you there are a lot of tax breaks that come from becoming an owner in real estate and a landlord. Now you're gonna have to deal with some people calling you a slumlord or the usual fixed mindset reaction when people hear that. I look at it like this at the end of the day, there's always gonna be landlords, there's always gonna be people who own real estate who rent it to other people. If you are a good person, if you mean well, if you are not charging people more money than they could ever spend on the property, if you care a lot to upkeep the property and make sure it's nice for the tenants living there, then it benefits everyone for you to go into real estate acquisition as opposed to some of the people who have bad intentions with it. So the third thing that I have done to lower my taxable income, which is mentioned in this book, of course, is to create jobs. Meaning you go into a business that hires other people to help you run your business. So you are paying other people money to help them pay their bills. So these are people then that possibly no longer need to go on welfare. They don't need government assistance. They're able to start their own businesses and create jobs that pay other people. And then next thing you know, there's this happy loop of humans paying each other, treating services for each other so everybody is happy 
affluent, creating value, spending their dollars in their local community, at the restaurants, at the bars, at the shopping centers, and helping to lift everybody up with them. There are tax breaks in that. And that is where my S Corp falls under that. By creating business, by establishing business, providing services to the general public, and paying people in the public to help you run that business, there are tax breaks available to you in our tax code. Again, I learned all of this from reading this one book. So before anyone says I made this up, I read it in the book. And I know taxes get people riled up. So before you attack me below this video, mind you, I am just sharing with you three things that I am personally doing to lower my taxable income. And I hope this has shed light on it for whoever's watching this. I hope this is something that you could start doing at the beginning of 2023 so that your taxable income for next year, so obviously you pay for the year prior, is much lower. These are all things I wish I had known five, six years ago because it would have saved me a lot of money I paid to the government that I didn't legally actually have to pay. I just wasn't aware of these things that I could be doing. If you guys like videos on freelance taxes, how to set up a business, the intricacies of being a freelancer, I'm happy to do more videos like this. So please comment below your thoughts. Also, please comment below your thoughts on the unidentified aircrafts that are flying all over the US airspace right now. Do we think it's aliens? I don't know. I kind of want to talk about that. Like, do we think it's aliens? What do you guys think that is? We can also go off on a tangent on that. But in the meantime, it does not make you a bad person to want to or your taxable incomes. I believe business people, entrepreneurs, small business owners who are the backbone of any economy, I believe if you were able to keep more of your money, then you're gonna be able to develop more real estate, create more jobs, and do things that I think are much more efficient than when the government attempts to do it. So if somebody in your life is making you feel bad about this, they just don't understand how the tax code works, and you should share this video with them. With that, I believe in you guys. I hope your freelance businesses are thriving. If you have not taken the plunge, I have a ton of beginner videos on my channel, so please check those out, and I will be back next week. Bye.